One of the themes of this conference is not only alternative investments, but it's data revolution. I don't want to say oil is new data, but it's kind of boring to say that. So how important is data quality, and how do you build trust, uh, Sarah, from your perspective? Oh, well, thank you, uh, Vidak. So Sequentum has a data platform that ingests and delivers data, uh, mostly web scrape data, which is notoriously uh, difficult um, because websites will change. Um, bot blocking is an area of tremendous investment. Um, and it's hard to get good quality data. So this is something we think about quite a bit. Um, we have architected our platform over the last 15 plus years um, to validate uh, every step of the way, every step of the data journey. We're looking at, uh, we're, we're able to validate what is seen on the web page or in the backend API or the document. We're able to validate to all kinds of rules, whether it's visual or syntax or value ranges, you name it, we have the validation happening every step of the way. And then because validation is very noisy, um, we also uh, employ uh, success criteria to make sure that the data coming across is within acceptable error thresholds. Um, but not just that, right? You talked about trust, right? Quality is a part of trust, um, but there's something else as well. Um, you know, we'll get questions sometimes. We sell data. We, we license our platform, but we also um, sell managed data services, so we're also a data vendor. And sometimes we'll get calls and say, how come you have a gap in your data on this date? And we will say, well, you know, according to our audit logs, the website was down. Um, we have screenshots. We have, you know, um, the, you know all, the, all the records of the site being down. Um, we have the tickets that were opened. We have all the, all the records that the, the team created. Um, and when it was back up, we started collecting again. And they're like, but I don't understand. This other vendor doesn't show that a site outage. And I'm like, well, <laughs> you know, if you want to smooth the data, we'll give you that right. You know, you can do that on your own. We're not going to do that for you. Um, but this, this is where it comes up to trust, right? We have thorough audit logs. Um, and they demonstrate how the data was collected, when it was collected, what version of the agent, right? We write, uh, we call them agents um, that perform, uh, you know, automated tasks, what version it was, sort of what the schedule was, whether these agents were behaving responsibly according to codes of ethics and operating guidelines that we, we've established. And this all, you know, really drives a lot of trust. Um, our stakeholders and the stakeholders who, who are in your data operation should be able to go in in their own schedule and see what happened when, why is the data slightly different, what was done about it. Um, and really that breaking down of silos and enabling all those stakeholders to go and see on their own accord is what drives trust. 